<laughs> We've done well here, haven't we? Absolutely. How did we do that? Um, yeah, that's the good thing about this group, Harry. Every matchup is a banger. And so let's find out where this one's going. We'll talk soon. We'll start with a pistol. Level-headed, Carrigan baiting for rain, but not for long. He is cleared out by Dexter, a heavy con setup for Miles, and they're walking up. Twist, backstabbing the door, gets swung. Dexter hears it, and Twist disappears. Carrigan also does, thanks to the headshot from BMAS. Him and Dexter laying down death, and Brokey does respond from the toilets. Acor gone, and charging into PS Rops. This is such a weird, wacky round, and Dexter's trying to evade capture. He goes the right way, and he still dodges death a second time. Dangerous decision from Dexter, and Rops doubles back for another kill. This is all over the place, and now it's in the hands of Brokey. Yeah, what can Brokey do here? Even though he's oftentimes good in these clutches, can he get out the clutches of Rops? No, he's going to blindside him. Three in the round for Rops there. The guy to really make it all happen, catching Olaf on that aggression outside a monster as he doubles back through B, opened up a world of possibilities. Let's just address the, the weirdness that is Carrigan playing versus his old team. It's... You know, very, very exciting. Yeah. It's one as well since we had Olaf back in. We haven't actually seen, right? The last time we did, DreamHack Masters Spring. That was when Cold Zero was still in play. And, uh, and I mean, there, you know, Mouse it was Mouse Sports, Sports right? yeah. that knocked FaZe out of that event. Ooh. Interesting. Well, they'd love to come into this group with a bang as well. The pistol is a good start. Phase of forcing with Deagles. Phase Deagles. Woo! Good lord. Twist. Deagle. Mm. Rain. Deagle. What's not to love? So let's keep our eyes on the prize. Phase of Mowers just seem destined as two organizations to have like a very deep intertwined relationship with yeah, one another, right? Sure. It's always been the case. Even back when Carrigan was the guy on Mouse, the story always used to be, oh, it's him v. Nico versus his old team. Well, <laughs> He swaps sides back and forth yeah. more times than I can count now. Always trying to find the greener grass, Harry, and it is always on the other side, but we'll have to see if FaZe can run with it. We're back online, and we were worried if that would be a problem for teams like Na'Vi. It wasn't, or at least it hasn't been today. But FaZe, they love to land. Top four at Cologne, but this is Pro League, baby. Mouse, they're ready to meet you right there. Bmas trying to entry into B, Dexter as well. He's dead to the Deagle, and this is how they get out of control. Harry first kill, and the trades are coming in for FaZe. Uh-oh, uh -oh, it's Twist pushing up close, and he's taken Frozen. Just the scout, and they're shooting him from all sides, even the flank out monster as well. FaZe lock in the force by, and it's almost an expectation at this point. It's almost what we know. I don't know if it's, if it's what we love, though, Harry. It's... Uh, it's a weird time we're in in Counter-Strike with the economy. With the Deagle as well. Got to wonder if a nerf is coming. Hearing the whispers in the winds. What have you heard in the Absolutely winds? nothing. Yeah, just a lot of crying can't. on Twitter yeah, about Yeah, you can't just throw that out. Yeah, exactly. There. I like to bait. You know, what's the problem with that? Do it in the pugs. Do it in the casts. It's all good fun. You think Valve are telling me stuff? <laughs> no. Me, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, we yeah, tight. Got, yeah. So here we go, look. <laughs> the Eagles back out for Mouse Sports. You're the sole reason they won't nerf it, Harry. They don't want Ooh. to deactivate you or BMAS, for that matter. Oh, oh Dexter! Oh, Dexter, as it turns out, you know. Oh, oh just the Eagle as a whole. I'm fine with that. Those are one deeks, mate. Those are balanced as hell. It's the body shot spam where things get weird and wacky. Carrigan looking to do exactly that. Molotov on the truck means they just part default anyway. Oh, well. They don't mind. Karen's getting closer, and oh. so is Robs. How do they keep doing it? Doubling back for another D ground. Olaf doubles up, and he's found by Dexter, leaving Twists with no kit in a clutch. He was elected to lead. Not too deep, Hugo. <laughs> but Dexter's coming big in this round, as the Twists might get blindsided oh. by him. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. get out of my head. No. Two to one, and the Deagles bounce right back. Now, these Force by Wards well and truly underway. Reinvestment for FaZe. And we're gonna see them even toting an M4 on Carrigan. Totes, mate. 
Yeah, all right. I, I'm, I'm not against the, the two scrappy international rosters at the top of CS. I'm going to fight back and forth, battle a bit with pistols. This could be fun. It's not a one-sided fight. Everyone's bringing Deegs to the table. Now Rifle in middle for Carrigan, trying to put himself in the front line. Trying to get involved. CZ only looks good in pro's hands. When you use it yourself, you'll find out what that means. But twists, capable hands. Indeed, Rops is looking to get up close, and that's where things get scary. So instead, they hold off, wait for FaZe's aggression. You know there's not much in this round for FaZe, but that still scares you. All in B stack right now, right? So... Hopefully, Maos do their uh, their due j diligence here in clearing out the uh, the toilets over in mid. Eventually, FaZe will have to bring someone back up towards that A-bomb site. Carrigan's going to go there now with the M4. That's the one rifle up here. Oh, but awards, hey, they walk into this double short side setup. But See, giving away that so. kill isn't all it's it struck up to be, right? Don't get me wrong, the five on four is big, but it might now tempt Mouse Sports into this stacked bomb site. And so with them moving in through the tunnel out towards Monster, it is looking destined to be this B play with only 15 seconds left. Time could be a problem. The Deagle finds the first. The rotation's coming in for Carrigan and Olaf doesn't want to give up this site. There is eight seconds. Carrigan hoping to deny a bomb one and a denial oh, there. Live. Frozen, oh. dead, but Rops is going to trade it out. And he narrowly oh. keeps that round belonging to Mouse Sports. Yeah, that's the best he could have done there, right? He delays the shot until the final second, gets the kill, and he, he would have just dropped in water if they let him, but Rops is very quick to trade. Also, I talked about that CZ fight. We didn't see it, but Rops killed Twist, pushing up on sandbags, and, you know, Twist dinked him there. So if he was closer, there would have been a kill. Rops low and late activates to win the round for Mouse. That kill had to come through from Rops, or there was no way in. Three to one, and the Deagles devastated for now, but we'll see more later in this series. It's just USPs. Al's ready to start running away with the freebies. Take the four to one. Just gotta kick it up in their goal hole. There's not many keepers on this A site. They're stacked down towards B. Twists even boosting up Carrigan for this kill, but. I wouldn't be surprised if BMAS checks it. He's got a good mind, this guy. Good brain for the game. Plus, if there was anyone to just spray and turn yeah. and 180 you, it's, it's this oh, guy. And he's just going to check it straight yeah. up. Too so. smart. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, bye bye. That's free. Hello. And that's free too for Dex Dexter. I've got to say, this Dexter is a cool talking point because when he came to Mouse, even though like we were we were all excited, everyone except this kid was excited to see him here in this team and in Europe. <laughs> except uh, this kid. Yeah, obviously. except this kid, obviously, crying at the airport. But um, for Dexter, it's like he, it felt like initially while he was destroying locally, uh, he was having trouble individually against EU teams, against, against tier one teams that Mouse often play. Uh, he has gotten better and better individually and he is in tip top form. Like this guy is definitely a capable fragging in-game leader, and like coming off the back of losing Carrigan, who was fills into that exact mantle, can ex can be con inconsistent, but lately has been really, really good. Dexter can frag against the best, and that's cool. Yeah, and mate, I think you know, like a victory in this would only in this series in particular would only serve to increase those Dexter stonks, you yeah, know, like to the to the moon. So yeah, I uh, I'm I'm super excited for these these rosters in this group, especially. I think arguably, would you agree the best group in Pro League? Yeah, yeah. I think this is the group, mate. The like, group. All right. Definitely the one with the most question marks, the most new rosters. Big with Gay taking their win, EG with a new in-game leader for the time being. Yeah, the Daps 900 IQ. Uh, yeah, the old switcheroo. Finally, Daps' yeah. revenge. <laughs> Back better than ever. He looked good in that series earlier. Dexter walking smokes, mate. Call him Alex. He was doing that all last series, but Dexter does it and delivers a kill to Brokey. All 
Right, all right, all right. Mal's five on four, and they slow it down. The group on A with the bomb. Rops is late B. Is he going to lurk through Monster, or does he just want to sell this? Maybe even provide a path back down lower if Mal's don't like what they see, and they might not. Carrigan's tucked in close. Oh, he's going to swing ahead of it. But BMAS will trade that out. The A bomb site now getting teed up for the site oh, take twist. twists with the turn. Head on a swivel. Can't quite mop up Frozen at long, but the second player at truck certainly can. Rops is a long way away, so far away that this is unwinnable for him. The bomb dropped just outside of that A site and he can't find a thing. Rops is left saving here. Yeah, I was wondering how that was going to go, right? Like, I think you're just hoping for success, and then Rops is there. If you do get success, to walk in the back line to, to lurk up, either either kill saving players or backstab an A player if you have time for it. Also, you know, Mouse can drop back down connector if, uh, if A goes badly. And boy, it went so badly, so quickly. Twist, I don't know how he gets that kill. A course should have definitely had that trade. And yeah, the disappointed face as Twist flicks back and takes a double in that round. Phase on the board with guns. So, not getting rolled just yet. I said just yet, like they were going to get rolled. That's uh, not what I'm thinking. But could have been a really strong start to Mal's if they break that by and put them on eco. Instead, it's competitive, and that's what we like. A cause done in that AWP. I think there are some, you know, question marks around what we're going to get out of him in this uh, in this pro league. Yeah, I really hope we can see him. Look to kind of establish himself. I think if you were going to look at anyone that's still maybe going through that like adjustment period, it would be this guy. Let's see what he can deliver. He's got Brokey to go up against, but no AWP in sight for Phase just yet. The money's not established enough. Rob's keen to keep this pressure up on the B-bomb site on these lurks. Might get a bit of an earlier activation out of him this time around, although with the positioning gained here at long, yeah. you know, Mouse know that they're deep in this A-bomb site. And so as they start to move in, the rotation should get drawn up quickly. That's an upgrade for Carrigan. Once again, this delayed lurk through B might not find a damn thing because the A-bomb site yeah. take falls apart. And you know, you can see the idea behind it, right? Get into A, catch those players either as they're all scrambling to rotate up or come in on a backstab. But that's twice now where, where Rops is just kind of left on an island with really no meaningful impact or way to play into the round. It it really hinges on everything at A going 100% right. Yeah. And when that's the kind of you know plan that you're leaning into, yeah, it shows confidence. But it also leaves you with no get out clause. Yes, exactly, right? Like it's one thing if Robson is selling that and keeping rotates, but actually he's just been listening to, to the steps right up CT. He's been hearing players running up the, the metal. And so that's information, but yeah, you know, we expect a, a lot of impact from Robson. Maybe that's soon to come. Rain getting aggressive. He's taken Frozen down in the playground. He's not playing around. Smoke down and they're coming from both sides. Rain's read it, one and maybe more. Careful with that smoke. Certainly not a wall. Rain, the longer he lives here, I mean, there's only, you know, pistols at the end of the day, but the longer he lives, the more problematic that is for Mal's. They have to dedicate so much time to clearing him out. We need more support. Yeah, Carrigan's coming in to try and help out, draw some attention away, get a frag on the back is turned, and so he takes down Rops with ease. Rain follows up and looking for four. Beamass does have a deagle. Two shots, though. It needs to be precision, and Rain won't allow it. Four frags from Rain. <sighs> All back to normal. Four to four, and a buy from Mouse. Both Orpers looking to be proactive and take these opening duels, but right now it's Brokey in the right place. Ooh. Acor on a bit of a wild goose chase in middle as this time phase have really leaned off of that aggression. Instead, it is a almost full B stack with a comm player in rain. No one up on that A bomb site right now. Yeah, still no one dead. I mean, it's, it's tense, tense, isn't it? Yeah, very tense. 
Oh, the regroup, the re-aggro. Phase moving into water. They even check Con. They missed the timing. BMAS, though, they know he's there. Smoke down. Rain waiting for the time to strike. And with a flashbang from B Short, it's perfect from Twist. Rain's going to get the kill. Now Carrigan in the toilet, a sole A player, calling for Brokey's Orb to rotate up, and it will. But Carrigan for the time being catches Acorn looking the wrong way. It goes both ways. Frozen by surprise, walking up Divider. Three on three, it's only Brokey here. Yeah, at the truck with the orb, looking to drive away with a round. Brokey drops that bomb. That's now rotations being called for. And just by dropping this smoke, it's given him so much more room to work with. He doesn't feel as trapped in. Can he deny the bomb plant? Olaf can. Oh, it's a little late, little messy. And so the bomb plant comes in. Now Rops has got to see this round through to the end. If you were going to put your faith in anyone, you'd put it in this guy. Wants to try and avenge the death of Frozen. Oh, 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 brings him down low, but we'll have to finish the job the second time around. Rops caught looking for that second player, caught waiting for a CT fight that was never given over by Twists. Nice delay for Twists as well. As as Rops is like baiting shots onto Olaf and Divider, he's hoping that Twists makes the mistakes of, of, of getting aggressive, right? Of trying to shoot Rops in the back, but he just wants Olaf to get closer and closer. And it's, God, it's great to see Olaf in the server. You know, the man who just won't retire, we won't let him. FaZe won't let him. They keep needing him and he keeps doing the good uh, work, fighting the good fight. So that's lovely. That's good stuff. Another round for FaZe. They take the lead right back out of Mouseport's hand. And Acorn's left with a scout now. Leaning B. Rob setting his team up to take short. Oh, good spam. Frozen gets tagged up very well by Carrigan's org. Big uh, org user is Carrigan. He's been there since the beginning. Every moment and every frag. And it is important to remember, you know, he wasn't your typical nerdy computer I've heard in, in, in school, right? Yeah, I think he was one of the first to get a girlfriend. That's my understanding yeah. of the situation as well. Fair enough, beat me. But you know, while he was one of the first to get a girlfriend, Dexter, one of the first to have a kid. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot on the line here. <laughs> Just a meme. Uh, for clarification. Also, it's Rain's birthday today. Happy birthday, Rain. I swear, every game we cast, it's someone's birthday. Yeah. Well, there was are a this lot of... intentional? Did they schedule all the games on birthdays? Yeah, uh, Rain, Rain's. Uh... Plays once a year. Yeah. <laughs> He's like the Jeepers Creepers of FaZe, you know? <laughs> Only comes around on a half moon or whatever the plot of that film is. I don't know what you're referencing, but is it Scooby-Doo, Jeepers Creepers? That's nah, he's like, like this me. dude who cuts people's eyes out. Ah. So here we go. Oh, that's Scooby-Doo after dark, past the watershed, and this is where the blood curdling screams start, yeah. Harry. The watershed, you know, aka Shrek's palace. <laughs> his twists. In the hole. Holding on. Get out of his swamp, boys. It's all ogre now. Rops with a double. <laughs> Olaf Meister feeling the pressure. Oh, they're in the sight. Frozen's going to delete him. Brokey and Rain left to hold on to this one in a two on three. That bomb is going down, whether you like it or not. Yeah, can't stop that. Rain's going to try and go in off the flash. Yes, he looks into it. Not by design, not ideal. Far from it, in fact. It's Mal's finding five, unless Brokey can just sneak in at the last second. Maybe a kill would tempt him, but he's already running back for the save, and they're right below him. Done deal, dead in the water. Brokey's even being lurked on by Frozen. Aware of that possibility. And Long is the common save position in this map, so Frozen's just going to wait, move up, close this net second by second on Brokey. I still have faith. Brokey should be fine, right? Yeah. Probably. It's so good, baby. Brokey holds on to that up. Whew. Just about. That's not an easy shot, but it's fine. Nice execute for Malsports, right? Coming in with some big entries. Rops, he's far more active this time. We've been talking about how Mal's have been leaning A with Rops on late lurks out B. They haven't really done much. Uh, well, this time he just gung ho right, right in through Monster. Double entry, cracks open the site. Double orb, though. Twists joining Brokey in that. Okay, Twists. All right, this guy's a bit of a headshot guru, so interesting to see. Yeah. Beamass surfing his way down to Monster. It put him in the mouth of Monster very, very quickly. That was some clean movement there. 
And now the B rush gonna come in on the back of it. Oh, oh look, they oh, are deep. What? They are oh, in your face. Oh, twist. oh no! Everyone's with it. Oh, it's ugly. Oh, it's gross. And there's Dexter to make it happen. Oh, <laughs> num, 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 Rain. num. Rain's out of there. That was a mess. Olaf wasn't ready for that, and then Twist wasn't ready Seemingly for that. Seemingly no one was actually ready for what Demus just happened. definitely wasn't ready for that until he was, and he doubles up. That was just a calamity, a clash of crosshairs. And Maus come out on top. B executes working well, right? Just no no information, no execute smokes, no you know full util setup. They just pop through Monster two rounds in a row and get double openers. That's uh, poor Twist, just stuck out in the open on short, misses his shot up close to trade Olaf on the barrels. And even if he got it, he would have gone down as well, but he would have loved to take someone with him, tempt his team back in for a retake. Instead, it's rain saving. Terrorists win. And save he shall, but not the score. Mao's now continuing to build into this T side, looking like a, a very good T side after all. It's only just started. Don't worry, that wasn't you. <laughs> Fine. No one's messaging you anyway, guys. Yeah. Just keep watching. Right. Oh, a chance of that orb duel. But it never gets to come our way. Hops waiting with this little B exec again. Yeah. Holding on outside of the B bomb uh, site. But Mouse have just moved away from these A plays with Rops left like dead in the water. Now they're just gonna go again as a unit. Yeah, up in the face of the B players. This time twists, not on that all. Instead arm with the Deagle. Puts it to good use right away. Rain's even holding for the swing back on the short side, and B Mass is on the receiving oh. end of that one there. Acor and Frozen going to be hard pressed to carve a path back into this round, especially with that connector control loss. They're really left with no other option but to follow through on this B play. And following through can always get messy. Oh, Brokey with the swing. The timing on that is brutal for Acor. He's having a bit of a rough time right now. Frozen. One on four turned, one on three, and See he's going ya. bye all the way up to the A-bomb site <laughs> to give himself a chance at this clutch. Yeah, the issue is he ran on wood, so they know they are right behind him coming in from Connector. He's got a nice plant for it, right? But uh, low health, no utility. It's an ace 1v3 needed from Frozen. On this top site, back to CT spawn he goes. Phase. They've been good at timing these retakes together. The late player is Rain walking up and Frozen's missed the timings. He's got to deal with Twist. Smoke coming in and knife out. Frozen walks it. Oh, Twist turns back last second. Almost looked away. And it's going to be a uh, defuse coming in for Phase Clan. Oh, Lord. That's one way of changing it up, right? I like the cool out of Kerrigan. All right, guys. Uh, just all play B. Everyone play B this round. Four in the site. And Rain was connected. Now, that still gives you ways back out. Like, if, if Maus do go back to the default mid and take long, you're going to have Rain, who might be able to get you info and con and stay alive. And instead, you know, if it is B, Rain, door off, flanking the short player and, uh, and obviously able to rotate up very quickly through CT with that, or sorry, through con with that control in that three on one. So, yeah, phase they stack B. I don't know if they'll do it again, but I also don't know if Mouse Boards would really want to run out Monster for a fourth round in a row. It worked two out of three times. Now back to your default. Oh! That's one way to start. Mate, Acor's getting ruined in this head to head. Dead to dead. Bread to bed. Brokey's not done, mate. He's doubling down. He is going all the way in. Now, the issue is you need an A player. Karagun's coming on rotate. Oh, Rain tip tap. Oh, and he fires back brutal. drops. Does kill the orb, but you don't care at this point. You know exactly where that bomb is. Give me more, Rain. Give me more. It's your birthday. Make it rain, baby. Come on. Two to his name. Two nice taps, but he can't quite find number three. Turns Take out when they're looking at you, it's a lot harder. <laughs> Who knew? Twists, though, on this T-spawn wraparound. 
It's a little awkward for Twist because he doesn't want to like overcommit to this and find himself so far away from B that, you know, it opens up a con rotate. It, it, his position's useless if like you're so far away from that B site, you can't even be the B player, right? And even now, like with where he is, Olaf is having to go supplement that B bomb site. Now the bomb still down here in middle and Carrigan. Oh, oh no, dear. he might. Nice. Oh, that's a nice readjustment. A yeah, baby. Rops, even though he's dealt with his old friend and leader, he's now left in a 1v2 sandwich between oh. Olaf and Twist. He's going to try and hit this con timing, but that's what Twist was counting on. That's what Twist was waiting for, and he'll deliver round number seven to phase. Yeah, Twist is an overpass player through and through. This is nothing new for this guy uh, after his time on Liquid. And yeah, FaZe are now up in the lead. I'm loving how competitive this game is. If you, if you think back to the game we just casted of Na'Vi Fnatic, it was a story of one-sided starts, comebacks in both halves and overtimes. Well, this is just trading rounds right now. Everyone getting two apiece, swapping back and forth. It's never clear where this matchup is going, and that's even more exciting. Now Milesports, though, they're in a hot water. They have a bit of a, a chance for FaZe to keep performing. Right now, really no weak players apart from Acor, two and nine. Everyone else sitting pretty. It's been a troubling day for Orpers. But not for simple. Oh, okay. Oh my god, and then he almost burned in the molly. Star points. Carrigan's going to get pulled away from the uh, the B bomb site. Brokey does need some kind of assistance now that Rain is you know, worm food over in middle. No HP on Dexter from that earlier fight. But while this attention is peeled towards Shaw, Whoa. the Deagles oh, get out. Go long. Okay. Carrigan dead after one. And this is a good spot for Mouse to be in. Guns are retrievable. And not just any guns. I'm talking AWPs. Acor's going to go get his hands on that. Yeah. The fact that you're still walking this as well, like look at Mouse's positions, they're all in toilets. You're walking, you're wasting your own time. They know you're coming from here. They have connector. There's no question about it. And you have so much to clear because you don't know where they are. You're expecting pistols. And obviously they know that guns have been gifted, but Mouse are playing this perfectly. The clock alone might decide this round. You have a smoke kit. If you're gonna go for it, that is your means to an end. That is your necessary move. And the smoke misses oh, on no. top of the boxes. Just save, get yeah. out of there. Tail between your legs, humiliated by your own utility. And Mal's find an eco win. That's a way to win the hole. Yeah. Not the way I expected though. Look at that, a little, uh, little monument to the, uh, the failure of phase in that round assembled over on the oh. A-bomb site. Yeah, that's rough. Great stuff from Mouse, right? They, they they get those kills, they sandwich the toilet players. You saw that FaZe were finally like warming up to the idea yeah. of that timing being hit, but but something was just a little off. And I think, you know, it all gets a bit weird when you lose rain over in middle like that. Because Brokey, he's in a spot where like, if he goes back to site, he can get caught by players aggroing mid, he can get caught on that long flank. So he calls like, Carrigan, come help me out, bud. Mm. They end up leaving a huge gap in that A-bomb site, and yeah. it comes back to haunt them. It's a good round to go B, though, right? Like, Mouse have had a great success here on this lower site. The issue is FaZe know it uh, just as well. They've got three here, Rain and Con, waiting for that smoke timing, and no one's watching it anymore. This could be good for him. Robs gets spanned as he goes through the smoke. Rain will catch one. And even though BMAS trades, there was an angle open for Rain to kill the in-game leader. So that's not really what Miles wanted here. Not only that, but guns now picked up by FaZe. And while well, we had Miles win an eco, it's only fair if FaZe do it right back. Obviously, they put everything they can here into the last round of the half. This is a cool new boost. Oh, not new, but uh, uh, a better way to boost without having to crouch and tell your teammate to uncrouch. I keep jumping. No, the character just stands a little lower. Twist can jump up safe uh, without having to worry about crouching. And he can check out short. With that information, the rotate needs to happen. And Twist is eventually making that move. Brokey's conceding A. We have two kits. We have the smokes this time. Luckily in Brokey's hands, maybe he can hit this one. And um, FaZe, while two players are a long way away, Miles have a temporary three on two and eight. Oops. All right.
right. Brokey is Deagle. Looking to be that first point of contact, but instead it's Twist. The sniper oh, away. What a The Deagle to close it on neither one yet really pulling ahead in any meaningful way in this in this map. Yeah, con stack for hours. Oh, Faze will meet them right there with numbers as well. The bomb's here, gotta be careful. Olaf charging him down, Brokey with a kill. Frozen last bullet tap, and he goes into the lion's den. Guess what, mate? It's full of lions. They'll maul him two on three now. Niles move out. Staying stuck on B is B Mass, not wanting to activate too early or too late. Gotta to find that sweet spot. Dexter, alone in the sight. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh Rain spots him. Dexter's trying to play the trigger discipline and BMAS now. They know about him out through Con. They know where these fights are coming. Woo. And Carrigan swings him, taking his head off with the P250. That's why we get P250s in the pistol, Harry. That's why we don't use Glocks, because they are not fun. And Rain and Carrigan show us why very quickly. But. If you remember that first half, it went uh, with a pistol four mouths and FaZe forced up with Deagles and they won it. And yeah, it didn't mean much in the long run, but I was going to do their best at repeating history. Yeah, as we get deeper into this CT side, we really need more out of A core here. Yeah, definitely. CT overpass, AWP, like he can't he can't go cold on us. Not now. Not when everyone else is uh, showing up as well. And this game is so close. Plus Brokey besting him in head to heads, getting opening kills with the AWP in middle and that T, uh, T side alone. CT side rather. This could still get weird though, Hugo. I don't want to count our chickens before they they hatch. No, they just be eggs at that point, mate. Sometimes you get two chickens out of one egg. How crazy is that? Nature's weird. Wait, really? Yeah, it's like how you have you know, um, triplets or whatever. You, know, you can just give birth to as many creatures as you want at the end of the day. <laughs> it's not up to you, it's up to <laughs> nature. Nature's brutal, man. I've seen an egg with two, two chickens out of it. What? Not personally, okay. but it has happened. Okay, I'm sure it has actually, now that I think about it. Well, look at this, Carrigan. Ooh. Ooh. Like a double egg surprise, he's good. It's actually triplets for him in this one. Ooh. And Rops has brushed aside as well. The Galils tear through this stacked B bomb site. Maus had yeah. everybody there, and they had that early advantage because of Rops, you know, dealing with Rain over in Con. But that is the only kill, the only ground gained in that round. FaZe aren't yoking around, mate. That's safe to say, right? Like, Deagles can get terrifying, and Mal's don't uh, manage to pick up the round. Despite starting 5 on 4 untraded as well, they get reamed on the B-bomb site. Yeah, mate. Shrambled down there, and <laughs> now, you know, Acor's getting poached. Yeah, they're hunting for him. All oh, right, that's, uh, that's poached. I'm going to start using that. I like that. Egg terminology, definitely one of my favorites. It's like the, you know, chicken fruit almost. You know? Doesn't grow on trees, bro. No. Is that what makes a fruit a fruit? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. What do I look like? The fruit man? 10 to 7. And fruits and veg aside, Harry, we're getting into the meat and the potatoes. Ah, oh, there it is. Everyone's favorite course. Yeah, let's see if, uh, you know, the mouse guys can come out of their shell a little bit here with this pop flash set up in towards Monster. Ooh, the oh, the flash actually hits Carrigan in the chin. And Ooh. Ross will still. Oh! Oh my god, Frozen has also found another with a what? deagle. A USP is just dink twists. Oh, oh, okay. Rob's oh, dead. A little you. tag because they're in the car. Oh, Molly. Now he's dead. Broke is trying to help Twist to get into the side. Oh, oh, Twists down to the 1v1. It's bottom frag at Acorn left to beat. He nailed that little no scope smoke shot headshot onto. Uh, <laughs> onto who was it? Was Brokey. it Brokey just yeah. moments ago? Yeah. 
but now he's got Twists to beat. Twists, who has hit the ground running here, is now wrapping him over at short. Eventually, Acor's got to consider this timing. And as he works his way into the site, the penny should yeah. drop soon. However, Twists is considering that Acor is considering what Twists was doing. So now he's doing something different. Mm, mind games, yes, yes. And Acor thinks he's coming short. He just went, oh, I clear monster. He's not monster. Or is he? He is. Twists. Will he really read this position? It looks like he's about to check it. Oh my goodness. Twist oh. with the clutch. 1v3. Wall bang to start. So clean, mate. He had full faith in his read on yeah. that. Like, that was stylish, dude. Beautiful. Looks up to the barrows. He's like, look at this. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Yeah. Oh my god, that was that was a wild round, right? Check the kill feed. I'm pretty sure it was a no scope wall bang smoke shot from the scout. Look at but this. Yeah. Yeah, Brokey was trying to throw the short molly. I'm like, Brokey, he's behind you. He shut the door on him. It didn't matter. Look at this from Twist. Clean as can be. And you love the headshots. You love them. And Acor wears them. His face worn out after that one. Full of holes and not the one that he was born with. Or ones. Oh, to tuck and get right. Oh, no. He realizes good reaction on the flick. And this is Mouse's map pick. Remember, FaZe right now are beating them, and it looks pretty concise at the moment. A five on four and a gun round. If they can convert, they're going to be, well, safe to say, one step closer, but you know how numbers work. <laughs> but with one arrow, often comes a second, as Mouse will be put down on pistols, even though they made last round close, unable to convert. They're running out of room, is what I'm trying to say. Do we have a hero? Well, normally we look to Rops to be that hero. And Frozen is just as good a candidate waiting in this long smoke for the fade. And while he gets the first, Brokey has nailed the trade. So it's a very fleeting feeling of success there for Maus. Smoke's raining in now. And Molly's actually left a big gap in that smoke from where it plumed instantly, but Rain's pushing up around it, now holding for this swing. Oh. It's not a standard plant either, so Acor can't spam that out. It's a little left of oh. the normal position. Timing missed, Acor having a bit of a mare. It just feels like every time you look away, you miss a timing that could have affected the outcome of the round. And now, you would love that opener. Well, nice. someone was going to provide it, and that man's Beamass. Accelerating this one from a four on three in favor of FaZe to a three on three retake that now Maus are moving in for the kill. Brokey ooh, goes back for more. The trades are even. And as mentioned, the bomb was planted wide, so it's only coverable from this front toilet position. But for Rops, there's just not he's enough dead. time. And he's surely dead to the bomb here. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was super risky, right? Like you said, with the bomb plant. Uh, it was actually nice. Uh, maybe they were trying to play, Carrigan was trying to play against nades, right? Like, when you get the site for free, you worry that maybe you're getting nades stacked. And actually, the AWP was spamming default, and it wasn't hitting him because, well, it wasn't default. Dangerous for Olaf, but the time was good. FaZe are very keen to flash back in and take fights. They didn't really need to, but I admire it. They're feeling confident, man. And yeah, the results are speaking for themselves. Broken by again for Mousepaws. Phase five up now and a flawless T side as well. Think about how, you know, the Force by Wars affected that first half. FaZe have not let anything stop them in their tracks. And Carrigan is at the forefront of all of this, by the way. Top fragging in the server against his former team. Certainly feels good. I mean, maybe we often see, right, there's there's kind of no motivation yeah. like it. And yep. facing the guys you used to call friends, we all remember that little snappy affair, I'm say. sure, right? Yeah. Snappy v. Heroic. Yeah, he just had a, a lights out first map in that series. It didn't it didn't hold on, but he, he must have been... He did, but it. he played the best map of yeah. CS he's ever played exactly. to open up. Exactly, so. that's, uh, that's good. I'm sure Carrion has had better maps, but this certainly is not bad. 20 and 13 and 12 to 7. There's a long player to worry about Frozen. Ooh, wiggle, jiggle, Olaf playing the dance with him. It's loosey goosey, and it's a shot to the back of the head. Carrigan keeps it up with the opening kills. Oh, Rob Steagle, always scary, always worrying, and that's why Carrigan knows it better than most. Deegged out of the round. 
Twist will trade for one. Ooh. Oh, I'll make it a double. Twist, how does he headshot every kill he gets? I just don't understand. See, Twist is just someone who gets it, yeah, right? Yeah, he gets The it, headshot yeah. is actually, and this is something that not many people know, Hugo. Okay. It's the fastest way to dispatch of an opponent. No way. Right? Because it does the most damage. You can actually kill them in one headshot. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually good advice, Harry. Something to take home. And so you that's wanna, Twist's whole Without philosophy. looking, you want to know who has the highest headshot percentage in the server. It's 90%. Good luck is all I'll say, all and right. it's and it's not a call with four kills. There's your your you know heads up. Uh, is it? Is it? Ninety percent. Is it Olaf Meister? No, it's Dexter. Eleven and fifteen. Dexter 90%. with a headshot. B Mass eighty one at eleven and seventeen. Rop sixty five at twenty and thirteen. Right, Twist and Twist fifty three percent. But you know, Slacking. phase are winning. So who's the real loser? Also, Twist has had AWP. I can't think how many kills he's had with it, but... Uh, maybe I remember none. it was none. Maybe none. Maybe I'll take that comment back. Either way, Twist, I'm not complaining. He's having a great game and so are FaZe as they get ready to explode into this B-bomb site. All right, Rain. That is an ugly flash. Peeking ahead of it. Rain's been very unfortunate with the team flashes in this yeah. game. But it's not Brokey doing it, it's Carrigan. But the result is always the same. Rain fully blind on these peaks. It's crawling to a bit of an awkward halt here on the B play, and it gets ugly real quick for FaZe Clan. That's a five alive round there out of the Mouse Sports crew. And, you know, you do get the feeling that if the timing on that peak was a little better, maybe the results would have been drastically different. Yeah, yeah, first But, kill, you know, right? it's a pump and dump B it's, play, yeah, you know. Exactly. It was always kind of hinging on getting the first and then just... Uh, yeah. Steamrolling them down on you, the back of it. You've made two good points. Both of them are right and, you know, uh, well, I, I was going to say right and wrong. Not really. Like, they both counteract each other. It's a bump and dump. It depends on the first kill. The flash, team flash was the first kill. So who knows what would have happened there if Rain waited one second. But you all want to get involved, man. I get it. That's your first conceded round on the T side now for FaZe. Acor, he needs something here. He's got an orb. He's in the perfect position. There are three players here. Brokey's also around. Frozen's baiting for Acor. And he, oh, nice as well. Brokey drops him. Still got to worry about that AWP in play. Rain's got it locked in. <laughs> Did he get team flash? Almost. Rain gets out. Phew. They don't know about Acor. They, at this point, they think it's clear. There's no way they don't. So he has the element of surprise, not much else. Oh, no. oh my god, another oh, no. time twist! Oh! Twist! I don't like it! Twist will turn! Like it. Twist will turn! It's twist, fine. Twist, twist, please. Twist, twist will turn! Twist! What? No, no! Jaquino eat Get your heart out. out! Acor's Mr. Sitter! Oh. And now, that's a very awkward series of events. He could have waited, that's a sad part. If you part. wanted to sum up the kind of game that Acor is having, just look at that round yeah. there. Like, oh! Yeah. A lot of weirdness, a lot of weirdness. I actually fell over a box. It was so weird during that one. <laughs> oh, now Rops has to shoot from behind one. Alone on the bomb site right now. Dex has just got here to truck. Smoke is good. It cuts off any chance to peek on either side of these boxes. And Rain goes over the truck. Dexter holding strong, ruining his headshot percentage. But if he can save the round, it's worthwhile. No, it's not. The mass alone and walking up CT so far out. I mean, at this point in the game, Harry, Everything in you, in you is telling you to save, but really, you need to win a round. You need to do something. This is going to be FaZe resetting Mal Sports after their first CT win. So BMAS just wants to get involved. Kit and Smoke are the things what? tempting him in. That first CT win was a flawless round. Oh, oh. I was going to so, say, it's transfers. Who knows? They've at least got something still to fall back on here, yeah. right? Because that B play ended in That's such That's why you a... can risk the gun as well. Also, look, look at this timing, mate. He just, he, I guess he thought Twist was watching him, and so he just shot so fast. He didn't even, he could have wait, waited just one second. That's the worst thing, like. But he panicked, the, he's panicking. No, yeah, right? he no, is no panic. surprise. Okay, he's, he's four and 15, he's not having fun. That was so scary. On to, like, the one thing that is really screwed there is like, so when we had that Chiquinho whiff earlier, you know, yeah. when he scopes in, he knows they've heard the scope, so that's why he's panicking. Whereas like, Acor's been scoped the whole oh, damn time, no so they clue. have no idea. Yeah. But it's such a weird situation that, I can fully understand the panic of going, oh my, yeah. there's someone there. Twist is killing him and he's going, how the hell is he that Rain? <laughs> Did you even look at party or is it Rain? I held it for like 15 seconds, man. Trust me, that guy was hiding, hiding out.
Either way, FaZe break it back. And now they get ready to try and close this first map of the series. Boost up for Rain. Can he see any little heads, flashy faces? Let's try and yoink. Oh, there's a lurk smoke. BMAS is... Oh, he just turned! Oh, no, he's just turned! Kerrigan's walked through! <laughs> BMAS looked away at the wrong time. I guess trying to play anti-flash. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's still on this boost. <laughs> Yeah, man, that is such a cursed timing. Oh, Dexter, don't jump. Sataris is the flip phone out right now, recording that. <laughs> Look at this, right? Rain peeking over the top of the boost. Oh, Acorn's going to snipe him down like from it. the top of it. Oh, good meme. Very good meme. Oh. Topical. <laughs> yeah, be using that one. All right, back up con they go. Rops, I mean, Rops has decided, all right, Acorn, sorry, bud, but you just, you're not doing enough. I need to AWP. I need to get involved in the action, and so he shall. But problem is, they're walking right by you, Rops. 20 seconds, now you know B's very quiet. It's clearly an A play. Rops is calling that over. Frozen walking, aware that they could already be in the bomb site, so he's not running, and Rops backstabs Olaf, lining up utility. Now you know you've got to go forward, but you've also got to worry about the back. You're under attack in all directions. Yeah, Brokey is the bomb, oh. and he ran towards he, Toilet. He, he there's, there's no stock here. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have. Yeah, had, I think he would have had time, but uh, uh, they just know that was a screwed situation. He went back to go and try and trade Rops, and I was looking, I'm like... Rops ain't giving you that. He has the bomb. I don't know if that's going to work on the timing. I think he could have stuck it. We know these, uh, like, you know, HUD timers can be off by, like, you know, just milliseconds, which does make all the difference. But it felt like that's the only way to win the round. So would have liked to see the stick there. Twist actually had to cover and killed the first guy out bank or, or dumpster. So, yeah, whatever. We'll get over it. You could botch a round or two, but you can't botch the map. Not at this lead. Oh, I can run. If you miss that shot, no reason to hang around and offer up your life. Just get away. Just flashed off the angle. Don't be, you know, even if you're having a bad game, and this feels almost like counterintuitive, but you don't want to be that guy, even if it means you play scared, you don't want to be that guy giving away 4v5s, because then you really are just kind of throwing rounds at that point. So Acor's not doing that hilariously, but it's not like he's dying first. He just can't hit his shots. Frozen can, though, and Acor oh, comes yes. in clutch. Come on! But it's boosting, yeah. and that's more like it for Acor. Double down in middle, and these pistols are getting prodded and poked. Dexter, it's all under control. Okay, Acor's starting to remember yeah. what it means to be, you know, the apex predator of the server again. He's still a little ways away from completing his transition to the top of the food chain, but... Anything's better than where he was at a couple of rounds ago. And you never know, right? Like, we, we've seen examples of these late game activations of key players coming back and, and turning it around for teams. I think, you know, the, the trials and tribulations of a team like Complexity from the previous yes. group, where yes. we would have guys like JKS dead silent in a map, only to then come alive and completely salvage it. You know, we could still have that kind of performance out of Acor here, especially with another eco round teed up for FaZe. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, Cold, they lost their first series. We were all going, oh, you know, they're probably not going to make it. That's fine. They went on one. They still got out the group, mate. Three and two. Oh, weren't ready for that, but Frozen reacts very well, spraying down two on long. Now the toilet's play. Acor, there's the first. Dinked, but it's only a Glock. Oh, it's only a Glock, he says. Two, three for Acor. And they're only eco kills, but they boost your confidence at a bare minimum. Even shoots Rops, the rifle, to get that AK upgrade. Team player is Acor. And suddenly, at 10 and 16, it doesn't really look like you're having such a bad game. Our sports are still in this one, Harry. Dare I say it. Mate, I, I, really, I really hope we can get a late game activation of, of him, mate. And, and like, you know, these last few rounds have kind of spurred you on to believe it's yeah. possible. Now, the stakes on them have been lower, right? They've been these kind of weak economy rounds out of FaZe Clan. But if he's even able to give us, you know, 50% of what he just did there, maybe ours. Yes, maybe. Oh, the flashes are Ooh, so good. They're getting up to him, but Acor not giving up. Oh. Middle, and that's more like it. Acor with the double. Yes. Very good. Third would have been the cherry on top, but you can't turn down a two for one. Never in this game. Not at this level. Lovely shots out of Acorn. You got to give it to Phaser. Phaser flashes have been immense. Double peak. 
and instant death. Poor Rain. Rops blows out his birthday candles. And now two on four for FaZe to somehow mangle their way back through. And I say mangle because it's going to be a mess. Regrouping, Rops hears this rotate. He now knows it's a B play. Doesn't even need to flank. Brokey's considering it, but he just doesn't have the time to sneak the entire way. He's got to run at some point, and so he shout. Now everyone stacked up a B. They're even watching Heaven, just in case. Just in case. Timing's going to be hit, and Rops will hit one his own. Traded by Olaf, who is already on short, not to the knowledge of Rops, but Olaf, star point sure, but maybe not the 15th round. 1v3, and no time to do it with the bomb sat on like a mother hen. Dexter won't give it away, and BMAS will close the round. Mouse Sports. This was looking done. Now it's anything but. Mmm. Mm, that's a nice mid hold. Five out of the last six for Mouse. Four in a row. Eco. Yeah, but you know, if there's one thing historically Carrigan's always been good at doing, it's it's you know not letting games get away from him, right? Why would you say that? <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> no, hang on. Oh. Ah, that's not true at all. Oh. No, I, I <laughs> it is this is getting spooky. Because like it it was feeling like really kind of, you know, ROPs and uh, and guys like Dexter versus the world for yeah. the longest time. Whereas now we're starting to get that supporting cast. The AWP is finding its footing. The money of A's constantly up against the wall. And these are these moments where you kind of get in your own head a bit, where you, where you think to yourself, well, you know, if even one of these rounds had been different, we would be on the finish line right now. Now's not the time to look back, it's to look to the future. How do you want to try and do damage in this deco round? Up through the toilets they go. Oh, no. Rose and blindsided oh, Acor. All right, trial by fire. This yep. is where you've got to show that road to recovery. And it's only one from the AWP. Now with the AK retrieved for Carrigan, the AWP finding its way into Brokey's oh. hands. There's a chance of stealing away 15 on the Deagles. Oh, these parts always scare me though, Harry. And if you lose your sight players, that's where Problems are begin to arise. Carrigan, massive frag on the BMAS, keeping the site intact. Doesn't want to die. Just wants his teammates to trade with him, and Dexter has grabbed another one. They can get on the bomb. Brokey's got an orb. He's flashed off. They're not going to clear him. They're just going to go for the package for the defuse, and Twist needs to throw himself at the bomb. Dexter's got the stick. Rops has the cover, and the orb shot is not enough. Mouse Sports will win that retake. I could see it coming the second they planted on Truck. Everyone else of phase apart from Carrigan had run away way off the bomb site these non-default plants they let you down man and a nice try from Carrigan to at least defend his plant but his team aren't there in time rain deeg open on to brokey as well even with brokey or oh, oh, to acre rather even with brokey coming back on long shoots the cover can't cock the bolt in time bro this is 14 and even then, eight. there was like Four. that instant reset as well onto the one victory round that Mao's are able to get, but now they're streaking them together. And oh, it does feel like dear. it's in no small part because finally this orb has showed up to play. Yeah, that's part of it, definitely. I mean, it's not been the only thing winning rounds, but it hasn't been, you know, losing rounds for Mao's by any means. That's an opening kill from Acor into the top performer for FaZe, the in-game leader dead. Five on four now. This is getting worrisome right now. Phaser regrouping at B. The bomb is late. Twist just threw his util to fake out of the, uh, on A. And Mouse haven't fallen for this. A really heads up play from Frozen and Acor to re-aggress and get this info. It keeps three at B. B mass drops the electronic smoke. Phase have yet to commit though. They can wait out that util. Molly is well down. Now they walk out monster contact. They're ready to go. And they're ready to explode. It's just Brokey's flash and then Phase in with a bang. Oh, no, that's not what he intended. Mm. Accidentally clicked on the flick. And now you have no flash to get you in. Olaf's got to do it instead, but it's not easy. Out they go. Yeah, in with that one flashbang. Oh, there's a heaven player swinging wide. No one's adjusting to that. And oh. Twists finally will, but Acor through smokes is still putting up numbers from nothing going right to now seemingly unable to miss a beat. Mouse Sports are looking to tie this game up after all. Brokey 
a horrible position to be in. He can't do a thing. And even though he takes one to the grave with him, that is nothing more than a consolation frag to give up 14-14. Oh my goodness, man. This is such a tense game right now. And for FaZe, I can't be wondering where their heads are at. This is a catastrophe to say the bare minimum. A 14-8, was it? That sounds about right. Yes, six rounds now for Mouse. Your, your heart kind of goes out to Carrigan as well. Like he's still topping the yeah, board. He's I've, still topping the charts. Picked by the orb. And when when have you ever had a problem in getting out mid? Acorn's never stopped you. Yeah, he's had some kills and party and, and toilets, but now he's starting to get those frags as well. The flashes were good for FaZe. Now they have nothing. Rob's dead to Brokey. That's something. That's a start that FaZe needed desperately. Looks like they want to go deep and go fast at that. Carrigan, quick pick into B, and it's a five on three. Now you slow it down. Yeah. Rhino Carrigan, he is not running the gun. He's telling his team to take deep breaths to hang around. Reset with five of B, and then they go. Two players here. Acor, one of them with this orb. There's the first. Struck from the tally. Carrigan on the receiving oh, end. But run by Rain, who's still causing problems. Wow. And this might be 15 4 phase. Broke, he's going to make it happen. Yeah. The guy who opens the round is the guy to close it as well. Star points. And so FaZe do finally get to... Let's see what happens. Oh, we don't like this map anymore. But FaZe have been prepping it. They've been planning. And so locking in Mouse's pick and going to the uncertain grounds of Ancient, that would really set FaZe up for a 2-0. They'd love it. But first, they've got to close over pass. Acor getting involved, again taking down Carrigan to find a 5v4. And in the rounds where Acor's gotten these openers, they, they've often followed through as Mao's rounds. So let's see if that's destined to repeat itself. Now Carrigan having a lead from beyond the grave. Direct the flow of this round, and you can see FaZe Clan have actually decided against this B here. They want no part in it. Instead, they're going to dedicate time going back into middle, but they've got a lot of ground to clear here. This is effectively uncharted territory right now for FaZe Clan. Acor still in connector. Mm. This is where they last saw him, but you might not expect him to hang around. Oh. Rain, hot on the trigger. Are they ready for ROPS? As mentioned, this guy top of the server, holding it down in the toilets. Oh, oh Rain, that switch to Util comes back to punish him. That's the bomb spotted as well. ROPS, Rops going on a tear with the Famous. Saw the barrel. They're waiting for Brokey to come out through long, and even though he's dealt with the first, Rops is still here. Oh. Finally, Brokey delivers that killing blow. No way. Even having the foresight to swap back to the con side. Dexter doesn't have to give this fight oh over, my but God. Brokey... Oh, that's the bomb denial. Beamus, 1v1, 1v1, and Brokey has to try and finish the job out through the smoke, oh. and he